In this video, we're going to walk through the setup of your first Symmetric DS node. When you first log into the web console, you should see a screen like this. Now we're going to go ahead and select this first icon to represent the master node, also known as the registration node. This behaves like all other nodes in the network with the additional responsibility of registration. So this node will allow other nodes to register and become part of your Symmetric Sync network. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking this icon. Next we need to connect to the database. So we'll select the database that we're using from the list of available Symmetric DS databases. And in this case we're going to use Postgres. Now this will populate the JDBC URL information for us. This is just a template so we may need to replace some information in here. So in here at localhost as the host name and I'm going to use db1 as my database name. I already have this database set up on the Postgres database. And then I'm going to log in with my user account. I don't have a password for this account. And then we can go ahead and test the connection. Okay, our successful connection. So now we can exit out of this and let's go ahead and proceed with the next button. The next thing we get is a check on the permissions. This does a simple check to see what kind of permissions your user account has and if it has enough permissions to install the node. Looks good, so let's go ahead and hit next. Now we're presented with the profile screen. There's a couple pre-configured profiles you can select from in Symmetric DS that just kind of help get your configuration started. We'll discuss some of these in future tutorials, but for now we're just going to go ahead and select the standard two tier to set up a client server replication. So we'll hit next. And here we're presented with the sync URL that Symmetric would like to use by default for your sync scenario. This will be the node, the URL that all traffic communicates over for this node. Okay, we proceed next. Then we're presented with a clustering option. And for this simple test, we're not going to be clustered. So I'm going to go ahead and bypass the screen and just hit next. Finally, we're presented with an ad a console admin user account. So you're allowed to lock down the web console. So we go ahead and provide a password for that admin user. And then hit next. And that's it. We're ready to install the node. So hitting finish here will begin the installation against your database and the symmetric node. So let's hit finish. This may take a minute, and once it's done, you should be prompted for your login. And that's it. You're all set with your first node.